All right, you ready to do it, sis? Let's do it, Gaff. All right, hell yeah. Dup, 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 dup. Ready? W-L-I-X. Ooh, ooh. Radio, 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 radio. DJ C, DJ the Gaff, boom, bat meets the G shit show. What the fuck is up, sis? Oh, shit, Gaffster. I'm fucking excited, yo. I mean, this is one of the most excited Zooms I've ever did, yo. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, I'm super excited. When when you said we had the chance to get this legendary artist, man, I was so excited today. And I want to do the intro correct. Correct, Cease? Yeah, let's do it, Gaff. Do it right. Yeah, yeah. So let's do this right, man. Uh, you know, you know, when when you know, boom back meets the G shit, you know, when 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 people going one way, this group or this man, he goes a little bit this way man you know what i mean that's why he's so dope so iconic they got one of the biggest hip-hop anthem songs ever in the world g ever and i, I want to say a quick story about it but i want to bring in dress dress of the black sheep what up dress yo what up fam what up good g? to be here man thanks for having me brothers yeah. what up? What's we are, good? we're so fucking excited that you're on with us gl that's 100. uh love yeah, yeah. So, so we usually do a, a, a honorary salute. We have to do an honorary salute. I, you, if you're drinking water or whatever, you're not. It's cool, but we got to do in the dress, especially because we got dress here. I'm looking for a cup, some. Oh, you got the Thor. You got the Thor glove. Oh, oh this, this. I'm in my syndrome. Oh, that's <laughs> so tight, yo. Those are. Oh, yeah, yeah, he kind of, he's kind of, he kind of thorough with his. He got a bunch of stuff hanging up and everything. He, he's a. Uh, He's 14, so you know, like he, he's all about that life. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm a lot older, I'm still about that life. <laughs> I ain't, ain't mad at you at all. That's what's up. No hey, doubt. Let's, let's salute, sis. Let's salute. do it. Yes. Salute, right. salute. Big salute. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. No all doubt. Right. So let's get into it, man. Um man, I was excited that you got this new single out. Oh, the, I, the lick joint. Yeah. The, Oh, no, yeah, no doubt. Is it out to you or not? I, I don't want to. No, no, no. It's not out. Um, I'm working on, you know, well, I'll tell you about the project. The project is uh, the D&D project. Yeah. And um, yeah. Speak on it's it. It's kind of cool. Uh, last year, I got an opportunity to meet uh, Dilla's mom. And um, and it was kind of cool. Like, she actually was, like, at a couple of shows of mine, and which blew me away, number one. And at the second one, the second one was in Puerto Rico. I was doing a, a charity event and it turned out her and her husband had a, a, a home out there and they invited me back to the house to, you know, like kind of just kick in. She was going to cook and have a few DJs come by, spend some records in the yard. So I'm like, yeah, I'm with all of that. So, you know, we go back to the crib and we're talking, she's cooking. She's telling me all about her son. I'm getting his education like firsthand from, from his moms. And, um, and at the end of the night, you know, they kind of let me know that they just got back a lot of the rights to his music under the umbrella of the estate. And they were interested in some stuff to do with the, with the music. And they asked me would I be interested in putting together a project from his personal files, which, which blew me away. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like I was just blown away and humbled because it was like they could have asked anybody in the whole world to do this. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, and they asked me to do it. And, uh, I, I took it like, like first I say yes and thank you. And I took it like, you know, like, like um, I just started delving into everything I could find, every interview on not even just him, but her and like the whole family really. And just started, you know, like just really everything I could listen to and just started just really entrenching myself in Dilla's life and, you know, even even his death and, um, and, I took it real personal and it was been like a year in the making, especially with the COVID. I hope everybody's safe out there. You know what I'm saying? It's been crazy. And, um, you know, so I just took my time and really put together this project that, um, that was, that's real special, really, really special. People won't get a chance to hear me in a way they've never even heard me. I got a bunch of incredible features as far as, you know, friends and cats that I just really respect. And while I was mixing, um, the project had just finished and was just mixing and, and and it was like a week before the election. And I realized like one of the songs that I was mixing, I was like, yo, this song is a lot more powerful 
before the election than it's going to be after, then, 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 you know, in 2021, when, when the record's going to come out. Yes. So yes. I did like a, a, a true leak. I, I reached out to a really cool publicist by the name of MJ. Mm -hmm. And um, shout out to MJ. Like, it's not even mastered yet. You, you can't buy it. It's not for sale nowhere. Mm -hmm. It's a real leak. You know what I'm saying? It, like, it, it's, um, you know, and I, I had to send it to everybody that, you know, like, that she's cool with, you know what I'm saying? Which is everybody, you know what I'm saying? And, um, yes. and, 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 and it's a joint, you know, it's uh, called Dilla Drums featuring Chuck D. And, you know, and it, and it resonated with everybody, especially as a voting initiative. You know what I'm saying? To kind of push people out, yo, like it's a real important election. Get out there, make sure you speak for yourself out here because, you know, you don't want these people speaking for you. And, um, you know, and, and so, and so it was really cool. And not only was it a voting initiative, it let people know about the project that's coming. And I feel really good about it because the whole album is on the level of that record. You know what I'm saying? It, like that's the bar, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing below it. Everything is either there or above. So I feel real, I feel real good about this project and it's a really special project. And I think this is the project, like it's a feel good project. It's, it's a real empowering project. And this is the, the, the record you give to, to the younger cat. It's gonna help bridge the gap. When we talk about the golden era, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of cats really just take it as something we say. Mm -hmm. This is the record you play for somebody that you want to illustrate that to. The, the name of the album is called No Words. And the reason it's called No Words because I could show you better than I could tell you. You know what I'm saying? So this is that record. You give you give this to a younger cat and they're going to feel exactly what we felt. They're going to be like, oh, snap. Like, like, now I get it. Like, like I literally was able to put my finger on, on what we do. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, like the album, the, the, the project is amazing. It's got uh, features from... um. Bun B to CeeLo Green, Chuck D, Freeway, Corey Guns, Delta Man. Funky Homo Sapien. Oh, that's to, um, I mean, like, like just all kind. Alexander Simone, who's the grandson of Nina Simone. Man. Uh, my man Source Money. I mean, like, it's just so many dope cats. My son, Chi Ali. Man, Shut like, like, like it's, it's a really <laughs> dope project. You know what I'm saying? And I feel, Shout out I feel, to I feel really Ali. good about it. My man, Jay Sands. Like, you know, and, and and everything everything about this album was was constructed and really well thought out. Even what these songs came from were just really snippets that were in in in, in, in Dilla's files, you know what I'm saying? And I kind of expounded upon them. My man Pete Miser uh did an incredible job, you know what I'm saying, on the forefront of mixing. Like we really was able to take everything to another level. Yeah. And I'm anxious, I'm I'm excited to uh, yeah. For people to hear this project this year, you know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's a really dope project. It, right. Yeah, man. I, I was getting chills uh, when you're speaking right now, and I, I got to hear uh, they you guys sent the song to us, and we're blessed. Uh, I was able to hear it. I was vibing. I was going to work this morning, All right. and, I, and I put it on. First thing I put on, and it's you know it's called Dilla Drums, and I hear Chuck D, and I hear the hook, and I hear you. And it's an amazing fucking song, man. I was getting chills. I love the fucking song, and it speaks about you know current current stuff like that's going on right now. It's it's you know, and that's kind of you know that that's what's dope about you guys or you you're you you're hip hop, but you know you always spoke a little bit of you know the the little bit of the conscience, you know the the you know, but 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 you're the you're the you're the utmost hip hop. I don't know, man. That that song was this dope as fuck. It was this dope. I appreciate that, family. That's what's up. I mean, you know, like I, I've always felt like, you know, like that's that's our job. Like, you know, we don't we sh we shouldn't stay. I don't think we should stand on a soapbox and preach about what's going on out here. But we gotta mention what's going on out here. And 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 I, and I think the, the 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 more that we don't stress it, but the more that we do it, the more impactful it is. Like you know, like like you know, it's almost like you know when, when somebody's preaching to you, you don't want to hear it. Yeah. But when, when somebody speaks to something that exists, then you you allow yourself to hear it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's kind of you know how I go about things. Like you know, like I make it a point to speak about stuff, but I try not to be real preachy about it because you know then then it's almost like you know like it's almost like people shut down. But yeah. if you mention it in the course of life, then then 
people could relate to it, you know what I'm saying? But nobody likes to be talked down to, I guess, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah no doubt. And, and, and I, you know, I know this record was made a long time ago, but um, I'm skipping subjects a little bit. I'm sorry, I'm bouncing. I'm just excited you're here. Oh, so one, of my, one, of, one, of, one of my favorite records, G, that I can go anywhere out here in the West Coast. You know, I'm a little bit of a, you know, I'm an older cat. It's all good. But I love all, all hip hop, all new, all, you know, if it's dope, it's dope. But uh, I always want to tell you that I have you here, that she's and I, we have you here. Uh, and I just love the song, the Strobe Light Honey. That shit is fire. Right. I mean, that's my shit. So, you know, I, that's my song, G. Like, I love that song. And it, it you right. know, so, you know, it's just that you're here. I wanted to tell you that. But uh, that's yeah. peace. I appreciate it. It's something we all can relate to. We ought to have a drink or two too many. Yeah, I, that's my that's my song, G. As a matter of fact, we 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 play it on Liquid Radio. Yeah, and, uh, and we were DJing clubs and parties, house parties back in the day, and Gaff would always reach for the black sheet. He would he would thumb through the crates, pull it out, get the party started. When it was uh, his turn to get that's on, the stuff. Set. it was fire. Yeah, yeah. That's love, man. Oh, oh, always got so much love from the West Coast, man. That's my word. Like a big salute, man. And like, shoot, man. I mean, King T, like that's like like I like that's one of the cats that I you know like I, I got so much love for him because I remember being a young cat coming out to you know L.A. for the, like you know one of the you know the first few times and I was lucky that he was one of the first cats I really got cool with, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And um, you know, like he really he he, he showed me L.A. in in the, in the right light, you know what I'm saying? And and I, I even remember you know like when he kind of had he was working on a project, you know what I'm saying and and he started playing it for me. And he's even telling me, like, you know, like these cats, they got like a real East Coast kind of feel, but they, you know, they straight, straight, um, you know, West Coast kind of kind of kind of strong West Coast cats out here. But but I wanted to get your opinion. And he played me um the the licks way before they came out. Mm -hmm. And I was blown away by them, you know, and even the fact that, you know, like how he was rocking with them and you know, like like, like yeah, man, big salute, yeah. man, and, and big love to everybody. That, that's east west and everybody in between man like all hip-hop heads it's like we like-minded and sometimes we let things come in between our like minds you know what i'm saying that shouldn't be there man you know what I'm saying it's all about us as people moving forward man especially in these crazy days right now word it's, it's for it's for hip-hop to really vote you know what I'm saying and to me it's always been about like-minded people you know what I'm saying? So like, you know, a big salute to all the hip hop, man, because because we the people that 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 really is is, is moving this stuff forward, man, and, and, and holding it down out here. So big salute to all of y'all, man. Big love. Well man. said, man. Well said. Shit. That shit is hard. Hey, brother, I, I was looking at your Instagram real quick. Um, and you said there's a, a producer. I'm not sure who he is, but that you that you mess with. Uh, he's your guy. I want to say being one. Yeah. That yes. guy's pretty fire, huh? He's pretty Yo, he's cool, amazing. Right? He's amazing. I've been, I've been, I've been rocking with him. I started rocking with him uh, since the solo project that I released called Eight W One Slash Novocaine. Yeah. And um, like, I, which has been that was probably about about fifteen years, maybe about fifteen years now. So, he's he's been dope for 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 a minute. Him and his dude, uh, Vitamin D, out of Seattle. Both of them, amazing producers. Amazing, like some of the dopest, really. Yeah, man. Uh, like I said, uh, uh, I was excited. And I was just looking through all your stuff, and uh, and uh, there was one beat. Oh my god, it was fucking amazing! <laughs> I was just blown away. I was like, so now I started looking at. I know this, I just started. I'm going off the subject. My bad, but I started looking at his shit and his shit. Yeah, yeah, nah. His shit is dope. He's solid, real solid. Yeah, if you get a chance to check out Vitamin D too, both of them like they. They they they're both kind of you know they're friends out in Seattle and um yo them, them cats are dead serious with it man really oh, dope yeah he, really dope. he's not messing around hey G are you are you in uh, New York right now or are yeah. you in the East Coast yeah oh okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Right in now. Queens okay cool 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 yeah man man you know I'm just excited about this new the new project dude it's Dilla it's almost Destiny Dilla. And dress, G. Like, that's, that's destiny, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah, well, man, I, I'm, I'm really excited about it, too. Like, it's crazy, because, like, when we finished The Wolf in Sheep's Clothing, it's like, I knew we did something, but I didn't know what it could be, you know, but I just had the feeling, like, yo, I know we just did something. 
And, and that's how I feel about this project. It's like, I know I just did something, but I'm not sure exactly what it is yet. But, but I really know that this is, this is gonna be something special for people. And people are gonna hear me in a way, like I said, they're gonna hear me in a way they've never heard me before. Like, you know, it, 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 I'm excited for people to peep it. I really I'm, am. I'm excited for hip hop, G. In, That's in peace. Period, you know what I mean? Like, I'm excited, man. It, it's gonna flip, you know, the, the true, well, not the, but the people that love, you know, the, our style of music, they're gonna, like, damn, it's just, it's cold, man. It's just gonna be just, That's peace. That's it. um, it's, a, it's a feel good project. Like, everybody that, I, that, like, I've had a couple of listening sessions, like in the studio, invited a few people. And, um, you know, everybody walked away like, yo, that, that made me feel much better about just, just, just living. You know, what I'm saying like, and 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 that's what you want from your music. You want your, you want your music to create good feelings, man. Oh. Word up, strong feelings. You know, empowering. So I, I, I'm, I'm excited about this. Nice. Right. And big cool. salute to Dilla, to his family. You know, mm -hmm. my dog's tone. You know, his brother. You know, what I'm saying like, like Frank Nick. Yo, man, like. Like just good people, man, and and, and they embraced me, and and I, I'm very grateful. You know, what I'm saying that everything happened real organically, and and I feel like I got more family now. Like you know, what I'm saying like like I feel that close to them, man. Like like just good feelings. Word up. D, I, I have a question. Since since Jay Dilla, I mean, super iconic, right? Legendary status, and now. I mean, you you got you got the green light from his family to work with some of his stuff. It how how uh, difficult was it, or how easy was it to start on the creative process? And because right? you can't do that wrong, you have to do it justice. So there, how, you gotta you gotta bring <laughs> your fire. And I'm not saying you can't. You got the skills for it. I just is there any pressure with that, G? Um, yeah, like like like. I, I definitely, I definitely put a little pressure on myself with it. Like, you know, like I didn't get caught up in, and you know, like you, when I initially announced it, you know, of course you're going to check out a few of the initial comments and, you know, like you could see some people was like, you know, oh, this is going to be dope. And then some, but some people might not have been keeping up with me over the years, might not realize I released a bunch of solo projects on my own label and, you know, I've been doing really stellar stuff that might not have the platforms for you to have seen it. Mm -hmm. um, but so some people were like, oh, man, so they should have got somebody younger or this and the other. You know, like, I, I hope he does it justice. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, like, like I never get caught up in anybody else's um, interpretation of what, I, of what I'm, I'm about. Um, like, I, I feel like this, like, if if I took karate for for 20, 25 years, I'm a third degree black belt, I'm a master, you know what I'm saying? If I cook for 20, 25 years, I'm a master chef, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 can, I can create, you know, dishes that, you know, are just, you know, on another level. If I've been rhyming for 20, 25 years, 30 years, I'm dead nice. Like, I don't need anybody to, to tell me that. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm a master at what I do. So my whole thing was to to illustrate it, you know, saying like 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 I'm not gonna get caught up in what somebody else thinks I'm supposed to be as a third degree black belt, as a master chef, as a as a as a master mechanic, you know, saying I'm not gonna get caught up in that. Let me show you what I do, you know, saying, and that's kind of how I addressed it, and um. Like I I I feel like every single song on this project is 14 songs, and every single song has the ability to stand on its own. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what I wanted to illustrate. Like you know, like like let me show y'all the difference between you know somebody telling you something and somebody showing you something. And um, you know, like so so it was a pressure that I put on myself, but it was definitely a pressure I wouldn't allow myself to feel from other people. If anything, I wanted to do a, I wanted to do, do a project that his mom looked like looked at like she made the right decision. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like like that she felt good about it. Like she felt I was doing his legacy what it, what 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 it was what I, what I was supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? That something that she could stand beside and be like, you know, like yeah, this is my son and and this is dress taking my son's stuff even a little further than it's already. You know what I'm saying? So 
that that was what I wanted. And and I feel I feel like I accomplished it. I honestly do. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, man, you're, you're a legendary. You're legendary on the mic. You're cold with it, brother. Um, shit, I'm sure it's gonna. Much appreciation, man. Yeah. Hey, uh, do we have a uh, a date or you know? No, nah, you know, you know what? Um, I'm thinking probably sometime in the second quarter because right now where I'm at with it is, um, there's there's a, actually a couple of songs that I'm gonna have to reconstruct just because of what they were. Like I was in the, I wasn't. Um, exactly sure. Some of the tracks, if I was pulling, that if if to what extent it had been used, you know, what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So a couple of tracks, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have an issue with. So I'm I'm gonna flip them real quick and um, with stuff that I that I don't have an issue with, and then I'm I'm really still trying to situate the 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 right uh forum to bring it out. Right. As well, um. I have a, a a mini documentary that's being made about the making of this project. Oh, so wow. all of that, you know, saying so so yeah, which is dope as well. And so all of that's being kind of going on right now. So I'm still trying to situate the right the right way to bring it out. You know, either it's going to be a partnership of some sort with some form of an entity or um or or, or whatever deal. Um, I've got a couple of offers that I've I've looked at, but I'm just really slow walking it because I just don't want to just jump out there and, and and just throw it out there. So I'm thinking, you know, sometime this spring, man. You know, saying like sometime this spring the project will release and um, you know, like like probably maybe even going into the summer, and I'll just yeah. set it up right. You know, saying make sure I got some good visuals going on with it and um, you know, take my time. Like I've I've taken you know, taking my time so far. So I don't want to push it. I'm, I'm, I'm in a place where I just finished mixing everything. And um, like I said, I got to flip a couple of tracks and then master it. And, um, you know, it's, it's right there. I'm, I'm having some good conversations with some good people that are interested in it. And, um, and everybody's impressed with it. So, you know, I'm having a few more conversations and just try to make the right decisions to bring it out where everybody feels good about what, what it is and, and, and is trying to make it happen. You know, got to have a strong team. One of the things I learned, you got to have a strong team, man. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we're, we're anxious to, to just put something out in the atmosphere. And without the proper setup, I did a, I did a project with Jerobi under the name of Evertan. Evertan is native, spelled backwards. Maybe about six years ago, me and Jerobi put this project out on my own little label. My label's called uh, Pool of Genius. And so if you go to poolofgenius.com, you could, you could cop this project. Okay. But me and Jerobi put it out, and this is right before the last Tribe album. And um, no one had ever really heard Jerobi rhyme. And so mm -hmm. I was like, yo, everybody's going to run and everybody's going to grab this project just when they hear it, it's me and Jerobi. Mm -hmm. And we put a dope album together. There's probably like five or six videos on YouTube. Okay. If, you, if you put in Evertan, native spelled backwards, okay. in, in YouTube, you'll, you'll, you'll see these dope videos that nobody knows are there. And, you know, and it's like, anytime I tell people about it, it's like, they're like, oh, snap, I had no idea. And and why I'm saying this is because I was under the impression that since it was me and Jerobi, that all we had to do was put it out and everybody was going to get it. Mm -hmm. And this is my word. I've never been more shocked that nobody knows this project exists. Mm -hmm. and And it's been years that people are still being introduced to it. And it taught me a real valuable lesson that, you know, you never take for granted what what you what you're doing and regard who's down and who's in it and this and the other you got to take the time to make sure your proper promotions and and you and, and you're introducing it correctly and just because you did it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to mm -hmm. cut through the noise it's a lot of noise out there so you know that was a value for granted try to throw it out there and though a lot of people do know about it and, and, and a lot of Dilla heads are gonna, you know, definitely cats that mess with me are gonna pick it up. I wanna take the time to make sure I set it up correctly and 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 do what I'm supposed to do. I, I, I'm using the analogy that um when we were when we were all younger and the movie Jaws came out, <laughs> you, you you found out about Jaws by seeing it as uh um as, as an advertisement in another movie. You was going to see another movie, and before that started. They show this lady in the water and she gets pulled down and all of a sudden you see a foot just floating by. <laughs> and so, you know, like, like that was the setup for a movie that 
everybody would be on line four and it would break all kind of records at the time and this and the other. And, and, and to this day, people still feel away about the ocean because of Jaws. Yeah. And I feel like I've got the movie Jaws in the can. So I got to start doing my promotion. I got to start setting up, you know, in, in the movies before that everybody's going to see now. I, I need to have my promote my promotions in it, and you yeah. know, have just have a mic going through the screen or something, you know, like letting people know, like, yo, I got yours, and and y'all going to want to see this one, you know, what I'm saying. So just take the time to do what I'm supposed to do with it and set it up correctly, so that when it comes, everybody already knows and they and they go stand online for it, you know. Fine. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta cross, cross your. Well, how do you, how do you say it, cross, cross your cross your teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no doubt. Now you gotta, you gotta do it right, man. And, and uh, you're hundred percent correct, right? Like, you know, you already said it, but there's so much stuff out there that it's hard. You know, sometimes stuff gets buried. It sucks. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. And, and and it's not. You're just like, damn, I don't understand. Like, there's a lot of dope songs that. I'm barely finding out about G, and I, I love hip hop. Like I'm, we're hip hop heads, but sometimes you just don't. Sometimes it's like that, yo. That's real talk, bro. Yeah, you that's my word. Talk. Like you know, saying sometimes, like like I've heard stuff, and I, you know, and kind of be like, yeah, that's old, and I'd be like, word, like you know, like wow, like you know, I had no idea that existed, you know, and you know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to get caught up in that. I've already been caught up in that, you know. So hey, it yeah. taught me a lesson, you know, hey, for real. Hey, real quick, dress. Um, I was looking for uh, that album that you were talking about. The last, um, uh, it was it was the Black Sheep. Uh, it was the eight. What it, what was it? Eight W M. Yeah, yeah. Is oh, that's that, not, is that um, on iTunes? That particular project came out. Yeah, yeah. It should be on iTunes. Um, I released that one on the Orchard. I was like the first hip hop artist on the Orchard. Yeah. Um, so it, it should be online, but if you don't see it, you can go to poolofgenius.com. Okay. P O O L O F G E N I U S, poolofgenius.com. And, and that's my own site where, um, you know, like everything I've been releasing for the last few years has been on my own independence. So I've got AWM, the, you know, Novocaine album the, from the Black Pool of Genius album, the Evertan album. And um, I released a project last year on a, on, on a, on a, on a label based out in Cali. Um, uh, uh, Cleopatra records um, called um, called Tortured Soul, and um, so there's a lot, there's a lot of independent stuff that I've done out there. A lot of videos. Yeah. You can go to YouTube, yeah. put in Black Sheep Res, you'll see a bunch of stuff pop up. You know, I've been staying real active, but sometimes when you're not on a major label or you don't have, you know, some of the big machines behind you, no, no. you don't get the platforms, especially as you get older. You know, what I'm saying like, it seems like in hip hop, the young eats the the, the older. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And and you hear the younger cats like, you know, like I don't really mess with them older cats. So the platforms aren't as 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 available to the older cats, even though some of us are still keeping current with, you know, our abilities and and, and even pushing them forward. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like that's another reason why I'm so grateful for this project that's coming out because it's it's gonna offer me the opportunity to, to, to be on a platform that everybody is gonna check it out. And and that's all I need. That's all I need is for you to just check it out. And 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 what I do, it it'll handle the rest. That's you know? hard. A, a pool, pool of genius. Uh huh. Pool of genius. Poolofgenius.com. Yeah, because I was I was trying to find uh, that one record. I I did, I was having trouble finding it. So I'm glad you said that. Um, I'm gonna go check it out for sure. I'm gonna go buy it. Oh, that's so, big. appreciate it, man. And yeah, it, yeah. This is no project for real, for real. Yeah, like, like no. I feel real good about the, the the independent projects I've been doing on my own. Like some really cool stuff, man, and and, yeah. and some cool videos. People people definitely check me out. You know, yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, real quick, uh, and I'm sure you get asked this all the time, and I just want to I don't want to take up too much of your time, but this that that visual that visual of uh, the choice is yours. You know, when it goes, you know the, you know you guys right. always had. What I'm getting at is that, is that you had a. Big, you guys had a bigger picture, you know, for your, I don't know who did your visual, but I'm saying you guys uh, were always going a little bit different. That's what I was trying to say. Going, everybody going this way, you were going this way, you know, you, that shit was fire, you know what I mean? Ah, uh, that's peace. That was, that was my dude, Chuck Stone. Mm -hmm. Chuck Stone, uh, one of, you know, um, the, the, the Budweiser commercials that used to go, what's up, what's up? <laughs> yeah. He wound up doing that campaign, you know what I'm oh, saying? Okay. But, um, that, but, but that was, that was Chuck. He did that video for us. And, um, 
you know, even from the treatment, you know, like we was able to tell like that, that was something different. It was just dope, you know, and the way that, you know, he even the way he saw it kind of took, you know, what we did with, with the music, he kind of helped it take it to the next level. And, uh, you know, uh, part of being a, a, a part of a, of a dope team, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, um, you know, so, you know, big shout to him as well. Like, you know, like, you know, we created the music, but he, he, he brought that visual aspect to it that, you know, that walked hand in hand with it. And, you know, like we all benefited from it. Yeah. So that, that's, that's, that, that was really dope, you know? Hey, real quick, Jazz, did you know that that song, like, was gonna be so fire or, I mean, when did you know, like, oh shit, this shit is a monster. You know what I mean? When did, it's Yo. still a monster. Like you, that song is still, you know, it's, and I'm excited for your new shit. Don't get me wrong, but that, you know, that's- Nah, nah, nah. Is- Yo, I feel you. Every few years, the choice is yours gets re, re, reborn into something else, into something else, or somebody's yeah. new music, you know, from Fat Man Scoop to Kia yeah. commercials to whatever movie to Spider-Man. Uh, Yo, oh man, that's yo, yeah, right. It's amazing, yeah. and this is my word. Like, like that's the record in particular that when we when we mastered that that single, that you know I'm playing it back in the studio and I look along and I'm like, yo, I don't know what we did, man, but we just did something. Like it was it was that different, you know what I'm saying? And um, you know, like that was the record in particular that you know that I was really speaking to about knowing when you did something, but do I know that. 20 some odd years later that it would still be, you know, the staple in hip hop that it that it's become. Nah, man. Like, and and I'm so humbled by that. Like, I'm I'm very grateful that every DJ that 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 ever that ever threw that on, man, like, you know, like it uh, it's 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 afforded me a, a career doing something that I didn't even know it was possible when we started, you know what I'm saying, to have a career. 20 some years because nobody did at that point. You know what I'm saying? Like you didn't really see it. Yeah. And you know, people definitely wasn't in a place where you could you could feed your family for your lifetime as an MC. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. we didn't see that. Like, like there was a couple of elites, you know, there was the LLs, the runs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even on the West the NWAs, you know what I'm saying? Like, but like, like it wasn't something that we took for granted because it, it wasn't something that we saw. So to become one of those groups that people could look to and be like, you know, like it's possible because yo, look at them, you know, like, you know, and there's even cats that's way beyond what we was able to accomplish. And, um, you know, like, like I'm very, very, very happy about it. You know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, like just, really grateful more than anything, but like, nah, I didn't have any idea, man. That's my word. Big right. salute to every DJ out there, man. Yeah, and, man. And, and even push it further, like, you know, like, I hope we get back to the place where, you know, like, like the DJs are so important to hip hop, man, because they're like the gatekeepers. And, you know, like with syndicated radio, it, it took a lot of power out of their hands, you know what I'm saying? Because so, cause everybody started now, you had to play a playlist. If you're not on something that's like satellite or something, then you don't get the chance to break records anymore. And it's almost like DJs don't break records anymore on mainstream radio. Mm-hmm. And and it's important that we get back to that because if we all on the same agenda, like you, if you've hit on the head, if everybody going this way, we need a few people going that way. You know what I'm saying? Because variety is the spice of life. And if everybody's doing the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Th- then we stagnate it. You know what I'm saying? So we got to get back to the place where we put a little bit more power back in the DJ's hands because it was it was so dope. A dope DJ was the cat that introduced you to new music. You know what I'm saying? Like you mess with him for that reason. Like, yo, he's dope and I like his, I like the what he spins, his the what he spins in my ear go together. You know what I'm saying? That. So I so I, so I look for him because he's gonna introduce me to something I'm gonna like. And we gotta give that power back to DJs, man. It's real important. That that little thing right there is very important because it helps push the culture forward. Instead of everybody getting the playlist and they all playing the same songs all across the country, that keeps us all in this, at the same level at the same time. And, and that's, not, that's not who we are. We're a bunch of different people from a bunch of different places, a bunch of different races, a bunch of different sexualities and heights. And you know, like all, all of that's, all of that's is, is hip hop. All of that is people. You know what I'm saying? We all like-minded. We ain't gotta be the same person. We ain't gotta look the same. We ain't gotta like the same. We just gotta be like-minded. You know what I'm saying? 
and, and, and we push ourselves forward. So, so I hope that DJs start recognizing, especially the cats that are on, you know, the syndicated radio, y'all gotta start taking back some of that power. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 and, 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 and that's what they do only to us. Like, like, like they try to control us, you know what I'm saying? And not to say that we are trying to use our power for evil, but we trying to use our power, you know what I'm saying? And, and make sure that, you know, like that, that we recognize the strength that we are. Hip hop is a very powerful, powerful format. At this, especially at this point, we've afforded in hip hop more millionaires than, than probably anything at this point from music, from the music to the, to the, to the DJ, to the, the uh, ph photography, the videography, the, the bloggers, the writers, you know what I'm saying? Like, like shoot, the lifestyle, the clothes, the, the everything. You know what I'm saying? Like we we we've become something that's that's much greater than we ever thought we could be. And 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 there's power in that. There's power in that that we gotta keep close to home and, and not be so quick to, to give away. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, man, it's like they take advantage of our community, you know what I'm saying? And they start telling us what all music is supposed to be and what is not supposed to be and what is worth and what is not worth. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, we gotta stay, we gotta stay people. We gotta stay, we gotta stay hip hop. Word up, we gotta stay close to each other, you know, and keep building. You said it dope, man. And uh, I just wanna elaborate just real quick, man, cause I feel the way you feel that, uh, and it sees chime in just real quick, brother. You, you hit it so perfect. I want to say it too. I want to reiterate what you said. They, you, you're trying to tell us, you know, what hip hop is. And it's like, oh, wait a minute, yo, like, how are you going to tell us what hip hop is? <laughs> we, we're the ones doing it. And now, because you're making the money, you know, or, or the where the money's at, you know, it, it gets all weird, weirded out and too right. corporate. And I, I just love the way you said it. You put it. Uh, you put it together nice, man. You said it good because it's just crazy, man. Yeah, but, but you know what though? But, but we together though. Like the, the most important thing I think is, is sometimes it's just rec recognizing it, you know. And uh, you know, like you know what they say, you do better when you know better. You know what I'm saying? So so we've kind of had to go through some of the stuff we had to go through so that now we know better. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully we start illustrating, you know, that yo. We got this, and, and 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 we start taking a little bit more of our control back. Right, you know. Right. Hey, hey, real quick, uh, that we got you here. Do you, do you still chop it up with you know the native tongues, the Jungle Brothers, and the, you know the, all those guys? You know what I mean? Because those guys, yeah. Like for, for season I, um, man, we loved all the all those guys' music. All you know the tribe, your guys. Uh, That's family, you know, man. Hey, Chiali, Chiali, you, you see, is that is he related to you, G? Nah, nah. Well, we like brothers. That's my dude. I talk to him all the time. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, like that. We like family. Everybody thought we was related, and we kind of just ran with it. But, yeah. <laughs> but it got to the point that you know, like we kind of really are family now. Like, like his mom's is like my mom's. My mom's is like his mom's. And like you know, like like we, you know, we're really we're very close. And even all of the natives, you know, saying, oh, let me put y'all on, um. Something that we, that's going to be coming out really soon is called the Native Tongue Cast, and it's going to be me, Mace from Dela, and Moni Love. We, we, we're about to have a podcast, oh, and um, you know, it's going to start off kind of slow, but we're going to, you know, it's, it's going to be the three of us, and we're going to build it up. You know, it's going to be called the Native Tongue Cast. Hell yeah! What, yeah. When's that dropping? When are you guys going to do that? Um, probably, probably in about two weeks. Yeah. Right up. Yeah, probably about two weeks. We'll have the first one. Before we get out of January, we, 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 should, we should have at least the first episode. Fuck yeah, that's tight, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm really excited about that too. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, and you know, like the natives, like that's family, man. Like that'll never change. That'll never hey, change. Yeah, yeah, but, man. Man, I'm excited to hear that. I'm gonna check it out. Yeah. For sure, that's, that's what's up. That's dope as fuck, man, shit. Well, shit, geez, you got anything? I just... We just wanted to give you your flowers, Z. We appreciate your time. You are the shit. You're, we still bump your shit. We still put it in the mix. We'll put your new shit. We're big fans, man. Appreciate it, man. And this is my word. I'm, I'm, I'm be checking y'all out as well, man. Like, like, like. It's my word. I'm, I, I was asleep because, like, like King T. Like, I, I got so much love for him. So to know that's what y'all doing, man. I'm gonna be checking for y'all as well. And 
I definitely want to come back, man. I definitely want to come back when this record drops and, and just chop it up. I, 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 I already sense, <clears throat> excuse me, I can already sense who y'all are, you know what I'm saying? And and just that y'all are just like me when it comes to, to this music, man. You know what I'm saying? Everything that we've spoken about resonated. And um, yo, I look forward to coming back and I'm, I'm definitely going to keep up with y'all. Big time. And, you know, to let everybody know as well, you can catch me at um, Black Sheep Drez on, um, on IG and Drez Black Sheep on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, you know, and definitely check out poolofgenius.com. Poolofgenius.com. Yeah, well, I'm going to go check that out. Hey, hey Drez, um, the song Dilla Drums, so we can we can play it, though, right? You got to leave. Yeah. Like, I, I want to do it right. I don't want to, you know. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's, it's official leak, man. Everybody that got oh. it, please play it. Okay, please cool. Play so, it. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna... I, I appreciate that. No, we're going to play it then. I, I'm, I'm excited to play that. Um, well, shit, man. Fuck, I hope you had a good time. We had a great fucking time. Dude. I did. Boom I back did, man. with shit show. Dress of the Black Sheep. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you, Philly. It. Word up. You guys got good energy, man, and, and, and I appreciate y'all sincerely for having me on your show. Yo, what's up? You got the Black Sheep Dress, and this is Boom Bat meets the G Shit Show on Liquid Radio. King T, what up? My dog. W-L-I-X. Liquid Radio. 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 Radio.